My name is Susan Tippograph. I am an attorney, and I'm calling you on behalf of Melvin and Jean McNair. They are defendants in a case from 1972. They have been living in France since that time. I would like to initiate a conversation about resolving this case. Related to work. Related to what? There was another airplane hijacking today. The hijackers are described as three men, two women, and three children, all black. I would get on the plane, see the children. Nobody knew that we were involved uh, in it at all. We want to make sure that we get the passengers off. They were a Black Panther group. This is where their brothers were. And I tried to tell him this airplane won't fly to Algiers. They had to know that it was a gun with bullets in it. That was the main thing. I didn't want any gunfire to get started because people had said later, you said, you think they really shot? I said, well, once the shooting starts, who knows? Black people, what y'all going to do? Melvin and Jean McNair were indicted for air piracy, the crime for which there is a mandatory minimum penalty of 20 years and a maximum penalty of death. Detroit FBI agents moved in. They were just everyday people, you know, like your next door neighbors. He was patriotic. He was apple pie, all American. It's like a typical teenager growing up in the neighborhood. My theory is that something happened inside the military. The chapter of the Ku Klux Klan is operating in a U.S. Army unit. Increasing numbers of racial incidents of discrimination. When we started off going into resistance, we started wearing black armbands, and we started letting our afros uh, grow. Instead of saluting, we would throw the fists up. They were shipping them to Vietnam as their death sentence. I mean, he was convinced of that. I said, no, I'm not going to Vietnam. I want any part of a racist war. I just went on the ground. Here you had two people who were caught up in the militancy that was taking place uh, within the black community, within the black movement. Everybody was hijacking planes at, the, at, the, at that moment, so we, had, we could study it. We wanted to leave the country, and, and this was the way to leave the country. Algerian police have moved into the villa occupied by the Black Panther group. When the French uh, Secret Service picked us up, you know, I smiled because I said, okay, it's over now. Il faut en tout cas empêcher leur extradition vers uh, les États-Unis. France prosecuted the McNairs and they spent a few years in jail each. The question is, does that then put a close to the prosecution of them in the United States courts? And the answer to that is no, it does not. I would have preferred not to hijack that plane, you know, and hurt a lot of lives. My son would be alive today if I had been able to come into the country. He never felt as though he was totally French or if he was totally American. He was displaced. I always knew this was a possibility, that he could be killed. That's life in black America. You have to judge each act not only by the act, but by the actor. If we're going to make peace with that period in our history, at what point do we say, OK, enough, you can, you, can, you can come home. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. I ask human beings to understand me. The U.S. is my home. It will always be my home. That was a long time ago, 30 years ago. I think they, they've served time and, and deserve a, a second chance. I really do. Da -da -da -da.